Welcome back to Grizz Vision here with Golden Grizzlies basketball coach Greg Campy. My name is Neil Rule here in Boise after a 77-57 loss to Boise State. And Camp, you, you look at this basketball game, uh, you guys without Jayla Moore at the point guard spot, you're able to hold it together. Boise State, though, uh, shot 48% in the second half. They were able to pull away. Yeah, it you know, basically it came down to <laughs> at crunch time they made shots and we didn't. I mean, we shot 18% from the three. Uh, we did we did get the ball to the rim. We, we had a really good second half uh, scoring the ball. We played great basketball the first, uh, like Syracuse, the first 10 to 15 minutes of the game. We really played good, made a couple shots, leading uh, three minutes to go and a half. I think it was a two-point game when we went to the under four timeout. And they made two threes and cut, got it to seven. And, and I think that hurt us. And then the second half, we came out and couldn't make a shot. And that's what's really been our bugaboo all year. And if it doesn't change, it's 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 going to be it's, eventually it's going to kill us, you know. And <coughs> we've just got to keep keep shooting it, keep being confident we can make it. And, and I think once we see a few go in, maybe we can maybe get home, you know, and play a couple home games, see a few go in, and maybe we can then grow from that. So uh, this was probably the best basketball game we've played since Eastern Michigan. Um, so I, I feel good. I feel really good about the effort. I feel good about defensively how we played a really, really good uh, Mountain West team. And uh, we actually rebounded the ball pretty good until it got away from us a little bit and then we got tired. And uh, But I'm really pleased with today. I, 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 with the way the season's gone, with the schedule, the gauntlet that we have in front of us, um, you know, coming here in Michigan State and that, I, I think we gave a great effort. I was really pleased with our 12 days of practice, our improvement and what we did offensively. We saw some offense tonight. We saw the ball getting to the rim. We executed, and you know, half our playbook, <coughs> excuse me, half our playbook we couldn't use because without Jalen, uh, you know, I didn't really have anybody could get the ball into the positions that he's capable of getting it. Uh, Trey Townsend, another 30 point effort here tonight at Boise State. And again, this is Mount West champions. Uh, last season, team certainly will be back in the NCAA tournament, you would think this year. Why, why does it work for him, Camp? You know, the, the higher level of competition we play, the, the, the more points he seems to pour in. Well, we get him a lot of shots in these games. And uh, um, it's, it's what we've found out through this gauntlet of teams we've played is that for us to be successful, he's got to get the ball in his hands. Um, and he's playing with great confidence. He's making threes. He's shooting jump shots. Um, he's getting to the rim. He got to the free throw line a little bit late in the game. <coughs> Um, I've got, I can't wear him out though. Uh, we, we were playing him at the top of the zone today and he started getting tired and I, I learned a lesson today. I've got to get him on a wing or, or under the, at the basket if we're going to rely on him so heavily offensively. So, you know, as we play, we make adjustments and we see what works and what doesn't. And yeah, he's, he's a special player that, uh, you know, how many shots did he have tonight? 20, 22, I want to say possibly. 21 shots, 21. 11 for 21. So he had 25 against Syracuse, 21 tonight. <coughs> Usually inside level players don't get that amount of shots. I mean, Keith Benson never got 21 to 25, but Trey can go out. So uh, I think we're finding the right formula to get him uh, where we need him to be in our offense. And, and the players are accepting that, and I think everybody's pretty pleased with that. Now if we could just make some threes uh, to go around him, um, then I think – you know, we've got a chance to improve and, and maybe surprise some people. Uh, lastly, Kent, Michigan State now on Wednesday. A practice here tomorrow in Boise. Get back to uh, get back to Oakland University a little bit late on Monday night. But, uh, you know, that's that's a game everybody looks forward to. And, you know, it, it, it's a big game for Oakland, the program. Yeah, I mean, the Oakland-Michigan State <laughs> is always something to look forward to. It's exciting. Uh, it's always played right before Christmas. It's you know it, it's it's a staple of our program. It's a staple of Michigan State's program that we play each other. Never beat them, you know, the 20, 0 and twenty or oh and nineteen or some number. I'm not even sure what the number is, but we've had some great games with them, and hopefully we can take what we did tonight, improve, and maybe make some shots and see what would happen if you know. I, I'd like to know what would happen tonight if we'd have made a couple of those wide open shots we got early in the second half. Thanks for the time, Cam. Okay.